Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Courtney Casey versus Leanna Jojua. And how I see this one right here. So with Courtney Casey, if she athlete is, I don't know, it is connected to dots or, you know, this did what seemed like the obvious and worked on her grappling defense and the wrestling defense and I don't know if she trains it, but when it comes to the cage, it just don't click or whatever the case. If she just worked on that, she could be a very dangerous woman in this division. I'm not saying she'd be a title challenger, but she could definitely be in the mix around outside the title picture, picture, title picture, maybe one of those gate guardians who's still like a choke artist, but can stick around and stay around the gate guardian stuff, you know, kind of protect the upper echelon, or at least if you be her, you're good. But then she really just falls into the category of this woman with a clear Achilles heel that people could take advantage of. That's what Courtney Casey is, a person powerful foe with a clear Achilles heel. Like her grappling defense, her wrestling is almost non-existent or appears to be non-existent in a lot of these fights. Grappling, a lot of times look non-existent, but for the most part, it's more so her wrestling. It's like anyone who has trained, went to one single beginner's MMA class, if they want to take her down, they could take her down and win a decision over her, anyone. And Jojoa has some decent grappling. I don't think her wrestling thing phenomenal. I would probably say not nothing to write home about. Her grappling, nothing to write home about as far as in this division, as far as it's relevant. But against Courtney Casey, who has that clear, I mean, clear Achilles heel, I feel like Jojo had just enough what she needs to take it to the ground. You know, on her feet, I feel like she has enough to keep it competitive. I feel like Courtney Casey would, would beat her in a striking matchup, and I would bet pretty good money on that. But when you mix it all together, I feel like she definitely has all she needs and more is to get a win over Courtney Casey. I feel like she'll be able to take it to the ground. Matter of fact, I'm going to think she'll be able to tap her out when she gets it to the ground. I feel like on feet would be pretty close, but then Georgia will be able to level change, get it to the ground, or be able to tie her up and drag her to the ground. And then from there, be able to dominate on the ground, wear her up, pepper her up. Then again, rinse, repeat, take her down, take her down again. Then third round, be able to take, a, take advantage of her and the mental lapse, probably getting too comfortable on the ground and spending too much time on the ground or too comfortable on the ground and trying to force her or in any case, a case of where you make a misstep and miss error and you try to get either get lax or try to explode, give up a back or give up a limb, that then Jojua taps her out in that third round. So in this one, I have Leanna Jojua via third round submission. 